Hey, thanks for taking a second to join us for our pastoral update. One of the things that we want to do occasionally is just to provide a little bit of a reflection on the previous Sunday with these different updates. And so this last Sunday, we continued our series through the life of David and uh, an interesting passage. A lot of uh, things that were pretty weighty, pretty heavy that we looked at in that passage. But near the, the second half of the passage, we talked about how David was having to change in his role as a leader, uh, that he was basically aging and he was getting older. And as a result of that, he was growing weary on the battlefield. And so this guy that used to uh, kill giants, the guy that used to lead the armies of Israel into battle and conquer entire nations was somebody that had to have other people rescue him. Uh, otherwise, he would have been killed there in battle. And as a result of that, all of his other leaders were saying to him, hey, we need you to step back from the fight. We need you to be able to um, understand that your role is more important than just a soldier on the battlefield, that we need you to serve as our king uh, and to provide leadership more than just in a, in a fighting, in a combat situation. And so as a result, David listened to that. And then the, the following passage highlights just a lot of the different men that David had in his army that were able to continue the efforts that he had also done and perform all these incredible military feats as well. And one of the applications that we drew from that is just that all of us really have seasons in which we move into a role and move out of that role. And that that doesn't necessarily define us as an individual. It's so easy for us to find our identity in what we do at times. It's so easy for us to find our identity in our, in our family, whether it be as a spouse or a parent. Uh, it so, can be so easy to identify our, or find our identity in what we do with our job. And then when those seasons come to an end, that role diminishes or comes to an end, we can struggle a little bit. But I think it's pretty clear in Scripture that our identity is found in something that never changes. It's in our relationship with God. It's being a, a child of God who is saved by grace, restored and reconciled back to God because of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so as a result of that, that identity, that role never changes. But God has different seasons and different roles for us in our lives in which we are called sometimes to do one thing and then step out of that and go into another role. And to not look at those changes begrudgingly, but to embrace them, to be able to say, hey, God has me here for a season, and now he's moving me over here for a season as well. And so I think it's important for us to be mindful of what is God calling us to do? What role is he calling us to? Because not only can we sometimes begrudge moving out of a role, but we can be hesitant to move into another position, another opportunity. And I think here at Wedgwood, we've got all kinds of roles. We've got all kinds of uh, opportunities for people to serve and it's important for us to be willing to step into new opportunities that God is putting before us and to trust that he's going to give us the grace and the strength and the wisdom to fulfill that role but to also look for ways that we can pour into other people so that whenever we do leave a certain position other people are there and able to take on that capacity and so I would just simply ask you this question what role are you in right now what what is God calling you to do? How is he calling you to make an impact through that opportunity? And what roles may God be calling you into as well? And what opportunities is God laying before you for you to prayerfully uh, move into those and to look for ways that you can continue to impact uh, God's kingdom for his glory? And so that's something to continue to be mindful of as we move out of 2 Samuel uh, chapter 21. This week we're going to jump ahead a few more chapters to chapter 24. And we're going to look at another interesting situation. We're going to talk about the idea of making a very costly sacrifice. And that's how that played out in David's life. And then the following week, we're actually going to come to the end of David's story. Uh, and so uh, hopefully you'll be able to join us as we finish out David's life here uh, through the month of September. And then in the month of October, we've got a whole lot of great stuff coming up. Uh, the first couple Sundays, we'll be doing a Missions Week focus. We're going to have a guest speaker. Uh, Gene Staples is going to be here. More information will be coming out about him. Won't want to miss that on October 15th. And then October 22nd, uh, this is a series that we're very excited about. We're going to be looking at our vision, our mission, and our values here at Wedgwood. You may be wondering, vision, I don't think we have that. You're exactly right. We don't have a vision statement per se. We're going to be talking about that. And what is that for Wedgwood? And so we'll start that series uh, in the latter half of October through November. So 
I want to invite you to be sure to make it a priority to be here on each of those Sundays as we dive into God's Word together and look at what God has for us as a church as a whole. Last thing, and I'm going to talk about this a lot more in the weeks ahead and remind you about it as well, is on Sunday mornings, we've moved our morning prayer time from 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. We had a great group of folks show up this last Sunday uh, to begin to pray. And so we've done that so that people don't have to come back, come to the church, go home, come back. Uh, And so we felt like this will be an easier way to invite more people to be a part of that. So let me invite you to just show up uh, anytime between 8.30 and 8.50-ish. Uh, is when we'll be in the sanctuary praying. You can come on in uh, and join us at any point, uh, any week. We'll have that open and available. So we hope to see you there for that. So that's it for this week. Look forward to seeing you this Sunday. Obviously, all of our Wednesday night activities as well. So hope you have a great week. God bless.